All right, for this tip, I want to show you guys how to remove all of the blank rows in a worksheet in one go. Now, this sounds like something that should be pretty easy to do, but it can actually be quite challenging without using the right tools. So in this case, we're going to use the go to special options, which we covered in the last demo and select blanks to get rid of all of those pesky blank rows. So control G is going to launch your basic go to options. And then again, that special button it's going to allow us to highlight or isolate specific types of cells within the sheet. So in this case, we're going to use the blanks option, and that's going to select all of those blank rows within the active range. And from here, the only thing left to do is actually delete those blank rows. You can do it in a few different ways. First, you can navigate to the home tab, press delete, and then delete sheet rows kind of like this. You could use an alt key tip, which in this case would be alt H D R, or you can use a control shortcut, control plus, then minus, followed by shift cells up. All of those are going to accomplish the same thing, which is getting rid of all of those blank rows in your range. So common use cases, cleaning up raw data by quickly eliminating those extra or blank rows without having to do any manual selections or use other types of tools like the query editor. So let me show you how this works. All right, so I'm in the Excel Pro Tips workbook. I'm in the Removing Blank Rows Productivity tab. And as you can see here, I've got four columns of data. I've got dates, product IDs, product names, and quantities. And obviously, I've got these intermittent blank rows here that are kind of disrupting my range. And if I wanted to turn this into a nice, clean, contiguous range of values, there are a few different approaches I could take. Uh, a lot of users will go the manual route and start actually right clicking and deleting individual rows to get rid of them. Uh, you can also use sorting and filtering tools. In this case, I want to show you the go to special approach, uh, which is really, really handy. So I'm going to press control G. I've got any cell kind of in this range selected doesn't have to be the full range or anything like that. And from here, my basic go to options. I'm going to drill into special options and click the blanks button here. Now when I press OK, you'll see that it's automatically identified and highlighted all of the blank rows only within my active range, my range that contains values. And from here, the only step left is to actually delete these rows. And again, there are a few ways to do it. You can use control shortcuts, alt key tips. In this case, I'm already here in my home tab. Just going to go over to delete in the cells group and delete those sheet rows and all that will do is shift the values right up and give me this nice clean contiguous range of values so really helpful tool control special remove blank rows so really helpful shortcut here using the go to special options to highlight blanks and delete them from your sheet